Hey guys, it's uh, Sean Sean here. Just want to give you a tip of the day. Um, <clears throat> one thing you want to watch out for, like yesterday I mentioned about, you know, having a legacy. Um, you know, if you paint kind of straight landscape, uh, straight still life uh, in the old style, and you don't bring anything new to the table, you're going to end up in a uh, consignment store for 50 bucks. Literally, that's what I saw. And it wasn't, you know, terribly bad painting, but um, they had some skills, but you know, no new ideas. So one of the things I picked up, um, which I, you know, bring to my work as well, try to, is uh, one idea to get a style that's innovative and, you know, be collectible later will be, you take two different, um, slightly different styles and you combine them. And you maybe bring in a third idea. So you gotta have kind of an idea mystery behind the work a little bit. Um, but also combining um, two different styles, like say, I mean, Van Gogh is not a good example. Let's say Van Gogh and Damien Hirst, and you kind of combine maybe those two styles, and you do the dots paintings in a Van Gogh style, for example. Um, that's probably not a good idea, but you get you get the point. You kind of combine two different artists, uh, come up with a new style, and you know bring that to the table, and then you'll have your legacy. Talk to you later.